This is actually our house, so uh, you know, you're dining with us when you come here. We do lunch service during the week and then we have supper on selected nights of the week. Some of our popular items are based on historic PEI uh, kinds of food. We serve fish cakes, we serve eel uh, when we can get it in the wintertime particularly. We serve locally produced pork and beef, of course. We serve uh, vegetarian food. So uh, we have a nice menu. Um, it's casual atmosphere. It's almost like dining in your grandma's house, something like that. So uh, it, it's a casual place, and uh, we like everybody to be relaxed and happy. And if you don't make it here, I'm sure you're going to find lots of great food someplace else. You know, Island is just, especially in the summertime, it's just, it's a great foodie destination. Ann Dorff. I am part owner of Sir Isaac's restaurant at Mr. Gabe's Pub in Monaco. We have a family theme restaurant. That's why we have the photos on the wall there. We put our uh, buns on the, on the grill to toast them. 100% island. We then put ketchup, mustard and relish. Blend cheese over that. Sauteed onions and banana peppers on. Another blend cheese to cover the bacon, burger. lettuce, tomato and pickles on top. The history of this building is it was built in 1922, I believe, and it was built as the Bank of Nova Scotia. We purchased it in March of three summers ago, and uh, we've done the renovations on it. We rebuilt the whole building, started over. It was a lot of work, but it's a, it's a beautiful restaurant. This is Tracy, and we're at Cars Oyster Bar in Stanley Bridge. Oysters come just across the road in the river there on our own lease. Freshly shocked by all the girls here at Cars Oyster Bar. We have our own lobster pound on the wharf, so we have the oysters, of course, mussels, um, lobster that comes in fresh. We can watch bridge jumpers all afternoon. You see the mussel boats coming and going, the deep sea fishing boats, and uh, people fishing off the bridge. We prepare mussels a few different ways. We prepare what we call a local mussel, and we also do a Parisian mussel, we call it, which is sort of white wine, herbs, tomatoes. We try to use as much local ingredient as possible. Our seafood comes fresh, you know, it's literally about three minute drive from here. So mussels and lobster, scallops and shrimp. We try to change our wine list frequently and incorporate signature cocktails, which switch up as well, like we do a Caesar with horseradish in it. Everything's sort of maybe with a little bit of a twist. We have a martini called the Not So Gentle Island. People have new favorites from our menus all the time. There's always new things to try and new things to become new favorites. I've been here since 1984. My dad and Sterling were original owners from 1958. They've renovated three major renovations since 1980 and uh, now serve uh, 45,000 lobster suppers a season. It's just a family affair and people, people really enjoy it and they really enjoy the meal. And it's down home country meal and that's what people like about our, our meals. Our lobsters are all bought from local businesses on the island, some right off the fishermen's boats. We've proudly supported our local producers of everything from beef to, uh, to fresh vegetables and uh, that tradition along with our lobster suppers hasn't changed. We're a hidden gem so as soon as people come up here and see the view it's just like oh, you know it's it's one of a kind really. You get, I mean you get the ocean, the River Clyde, the rolling hills, a little bit of everything. We get our halibut from Durand's locally in Rustico, and we cut them ourselves. All, of, all the desserts are, are from scratch, and we make them here. Whatever's in season starch-wise, like new potatoes or baby reds. Like it, when you come to work in the morning, you're proud of what you put out, and you're, you know, you're happy to come in because it's a beautiful spot. You know, people are going to come in, they're going to sit down, they might be having a bad day, 
they have a meal, they're happy, they're delighted, and they walk out. Yeah, it's a great place. Places that make you stop and appreciate the beauty all around you. Prince Edward Island Reserve Company invites you to come and enjoy one of those places. Everybody, you know, we're in shellfish mecca, potato mecca, so the more notoriety we can bring to the land and the beef and our cattle farmers, you know, that's a good thing that people need to know that beef doesn't come in a white styrofoam container with cling film on top of it with a price tag, right? It's, it's homegrown, it's, it's thought of, it's nurtured and uh, taken care of really well here on the island. We've got a great system of farming on the island and uh, the animal husbandry practices are are ethical on the island as well and no feedlots, no pressure feeding and so uh, those are good things. <laughs>